North Korea fired yet more projectiles into the East Sea on Friday morning. Two were fired around nine hours ago, and they are the second launch in two days and third in just over a week. For more on this, our Kim ji is at Seoul's Defense Ministry. ji are we getting more details about these latest launches? I'm afraid we're not getting any more details. Uh, anything hasn't changed from two hours ago. South Korea's Joint Chief of Staff said earlier this morning that North Korea had launched two short-range projectiles towards the EC at around 2.59 a.m. and 3.23 a.m. Korea time from its Hamgyong Nando province, Yonghung, to be exact, near North Korea's eastern city of Wonsan. The Joint Chiefs of Staff said the projectiles hit an altitude of around 25 kilometers and flew some 220 kilometers, recording a maximum flight speed of Mach 6.9, that's around 8,500 kilometers an hour. The type of projectile is still not known or at least not been made public yet, and the Joint Chiefs of Staff says it's monitoring the situation while maintaining a defense posture in case of additional launches. And now what's more concerning is that this follows the sh two short-range ballistic missiles fired by the North a couple of days ago. That's right. The missiles fired last Thursday and on Wednesday, according to the Joint Chiefs of Staff, are, are both short-range and ballistic and flew in the northeasterly direction towards the EC in the early hours all flying at altitudes of less than 50 kilometers. They are presumed to have been launched from the ground using a transporter erector launcher, which is used to move missiles to a desired location. That means the missiles are not bound to a fixed launch site, and the North's movements are therefore harder to predict. North Korea has already released a report and photos of its military activity of Wednesday. The regime stated it tested a new multiple rocket launcher, quote, newly developed large caliber mulch, multiple launch guided rocket system, countering the assessment by the Joint Chiefs of Staff that there are short-range ballistic missiles that had characteristics similar to Russia's Iskander-class ballistic missiles. Military experts invited by officials from Seoul's Defense Ministry on Thursday said further analysis is needed to verify the North's claim that it has succeeded in test firing a guided rocket system, implying its multiple rocket launchers are now equipped with weapons that can track and destroy targets accurately. The experts corroborated the Joint Chiefs of Staff's statement that the South Korean military is capable of intercepting all missiles launched by North Korea so far this year with the existing Patriot anti-missile system based on, upon simulations. The military experts said the South Korean military already acquired the missile technology touted by the North during the early 2000s. And although North Korea could have acquired the technology, the experts said it's still in the test firing stage and are not fully operational due to factors that include lack of infrastructure and resources. Back to you.